welcome to Diva Time. It's a happy Monday night on TV shows. Best live Kiki ever. My name is Olivia London. And I'm Tony Homeper. And we welcome you back for a little bit more Diva Time. Yes, how are you, girl? I'm good. How are you doing today? Oh, my Lord. We've had, we've had a crazy week. <laughs> we, we missed everyone because right. last week was Columbus Day. Right, so, so we don't celebrate that day. In, indigenous, peop indigenous People's Day. There we go. There so, we go, yes. Um, yeah, so we've, we've missed you all, but we thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment to our channel. Yes. Um, and always just be the best diva that you could be. Yes. And if you're if you're if you're watching live right now, remember you can always comment on Facebook. And I see oh people are already, people commenting. already commenting. Oh Joanna, hi Joanna. Hello, Joanna. Kevin Wisher, hi Kevin. Hi I just, Kevin. I just did uh, the fundraiser yesterday. Drag a go, -Go. Drag -a -Go, -Go How was it? For, with Kevin. Uh, it was amazing. We raised so much money for uh, race scenes on Monday. They do a lot of uh, great things um, great things for um, women that are battling breast cancer. That's awesome. So, I mean, it's just, it's just a great event. And, you know, and Kevin, next year, Ms. Olivia London needs to be a part of Drag a Go Go. I'm going to be 10 minutes Putting late, but I'll be there. So, 10 minutes late, but she'll be there. But that's, she'll still be earlier than Alexis Flame. <laughs> Well, actually, I saw a video of Alexis uh, Play performing last night. She and was phenomenal. She looked like a phenomenal flamingo running around and yes, all that pink. So yes, it was, absolutely. It was great. It was great. <sighs> but oh. we've been gone for too long. Too long. And so many things have happened, girl. We got to talk. <laughs> we got to talk, you guys. We talk. It's time for the latest in hot topics. It's time for Diva, Diva News, News Network. Oh, oh, so what's nice. first, girl? Well, you know there's a lot going on in I the media. I know, girl, I know. But first, we're talking about my girl, Meghan Markle. Everyone give it up for Meghan Markle, because I, I love I her. I love her. She's so beautiful. She's so awesome. But unfortunately, the British media, they are giving her so much problems. Yeah. A lot of people say it has a lot to do with the fact that she's biracial, and she, people are not used to having a biracial duchess. Mm -hmm. And they're just they're not okay with it. And they're also not okay with the fact that she's American- celebrity and right. a lot of people in Europe they don't like American celebrities for some no. some reason so and the latest um they can't stand us yeah and, uh, <laughs> they don't like us at all but they still seem to give us all their money that's okay keep it in keep sending it. Keep sending it. <laughs> but in their um her and uh Prince Harry's um recent documentary with ITV uh titled ha um Harry and Meghan go to uh, Africa. Basically, they're talking about how fragile their relationship is becoming between oh. them uh, because the media is trying to break them apart. And oh, that's terrible. She's also a new mother, and you know how that is being a new mother. Oh, and Lord. yes, I remember. <laughs> 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 you know exactly how that what was. That like three hundred years ago, you gave birth, uh, roughly. Yes, well, in a cave. You still look great. <laughs> yes, <laughs> fabulous, right? In studio audience. Uh, Alexis um, Flame was my midwife. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I cannot with you. <laughs> but no, Meghan Markle, I love you and I appreciate you because we love her. she's the only like one in that whole group that says, you know what? I'm not gonna ask the queen when I want to sneeze. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sneeze like a normal human being. And mm -hmm. I guess that's why people. You don't know like what? Her. She she reminds me a lot of Fergie. Right. And they did not like Fergie. Right. You're 100 percent right. Because Fergie was independent. Right. Spoke her own mind, mm -hmm. and I think. I think that's what we're seeing. They, and Fergie's also a black woman. Whether you want to yes. say it or not, she's a black woman. Come on. Yes. <laughs> no, Fergalicious. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. What do we have up next? Oh, uh, well, you know, drag race, Tatiana. Oh, my God. I love her. She got arrested. <laughs> there was some kerfluffle and, at this bar that she was appearing at, and, you know, they she wanted to go in like a side entrance or something and they didn't want her to go in that and she what? went in anyway. Yeah, it was some silly thing. And they called the police and had her arrested. And, you know, then they had, you know, this mugshot of her plastered all over the place. But girl, oh my God. she went and she took her mugshot and she created merch. <laughs> She's that, selling her mugshot as merch. Now she that's make, a drag queen, honey. Now that's a smart <laughs> drag queen. 
That is a smart drag queen. She we turned her mugshot into merch. So, girl, I'm thinking, you know, maybe maybe we need to get ourselves arrested. Literally. And, and we can put the mugshots on our merch. Well, you know that's easy for me. I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty sure my mugshots are floating around somewhere. Well, maybe maybe I should be the one to get arrested. And since you're going to law school, you'll have, you'll have to come to my defense. I got you. <laughs> Olivia, Olivia London. <laughs> oh, wow. That would be amazing. It would. But girl, don't call me for bail money. Cause, uh, <laughs> <laughs> until the sponsors pick back uh, up, don't call me for bail money. <laughs> we'll call Stephen Annette. <laughs> uh, but um, next up, we got um, America's uh, most hated uh, rapper, um, Little Kim. Give it up Is for Little hated? Kim, y'all. Is she hated? Oh, you're there. So... Oh, recently, let's go over this video. Mm -hmm. This video, basically what's happening here is Little Kim is having a feud with PETA. Uh, they're yes. basically doing a protest outside of somewhere where she's promoting her new album. Yes. And the this woman is literally trying to fight Little Kim. And look at Little Kim like, all right, you, want this, not having you it. want this smoke? Like, I'm from, He's like, not having it. I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> I know Biggie Smalls. <laughs> I know where Tupac lives. Like, she's like, let's go. <laughs> she, she's, she's like, she's not like some like you know kardashian from Look the west coast she's ready to she's ready to she's throw ready down to pounce. i cannot believe that like she's she's, she's amazing oh but uh goodness. but yeah but oh. little kim as we all know she just dropped her fifth studio album it's yes. titled nine the, just the number nine. nine um and uh i guess that's why the she's looking fierce yeah she's beautiful and she's fierce but Bad news, girl. Um, it looks like her her album sold a thousand copies in its first week. That's hardcore. That's hard copies uh, copies that it sold. Mm -hmm. So now you got people like Nicki Minaj, who is her biggest rival, yes. commenting on this and mm -hmm. sharing this information around social mm -hmm. media. And now that's about to start a huge brawl. But come on, this is the queen of hip hop. This is the queen of rap. This everyone knows her as the queen bee. And um, we also know that she's been in some recent. Uh, issues uh, with the Beehive. Uh, the Beehive is saying that you're not Queen Bee. Beyonce, Beyonce is Queen, Queen Bee. But what I can't get, you know, about this situation is, first of all, Little Kim has been Little Kim before D Destiny's Child has been Destiny's Child. That's so right. Beyonce wasn't even thought of. So who does the beehive, right? In studio audience, like, right? right. Thank you, studio audience. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Thank you. So, no, honestly. I mean, I remember Lil' Kim from back in the day with, like, Biggie Smalls and, and all that. She and had red hair before everybody knew about. She had orange hair, turquoise, any yes. color you could think of. So mm -hmm. she's mm -hmm. been reinventing this scene forever. And hopefully yes. people can, you know, grab onto this new album and bring her back to the top because we love you, Lil' Kim, you know? So. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yes. hey, Kim. I tweet you every single day, so maybe yeah. you'll tweet me back after this. Yes. <laughs> Hit us up, Lil' Kim. Hit us up, Lil' Kim. Uh. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, more drag race <coughs> alumni drama. Oh, gosh. Hodrick Hall, uh, who usually doesn't have any drama. I can't stand him. One of his <laughs> um, one of his dancers, actually, one and, and some other people are saying that he's not paying them. What? Yeah, they're, you know, they're performing in his videos, and they're, they're supposed to be getting paid. He's making all this money, and he's not paying the dancers. What? Yeah. So you yeah, know who that sounds like? Who? Olivia London. Isn't that, <laughs> isn't that what they all say? I, I'm not paying my performers. Wait, did you pay me for the last show? I don't did? think I paid you for the last show. I better check my Venmo. I don't think she. I don't think she paid me. Well, she's the Wait boss, so she forgot to pay herself before I she paid to pay me. Myself. Oh no! Oh but no! But that's crazy. I, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, and you know, he's telling them, oh, you know, it's going to be great exposure for you and everything. But you know what? Exposure, don't pay the rent, Todrick Hall. Mm -hmm. it, 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 don't put food on the table. I mean, come on, Todrick Hall. You know, even if you got it, like, whatever you got, like, $36 will help. You know, that's, you yes. know. <laughs> I've made that. You know, we've made that at, <laughs> at, show. at a show or, you know. The best girl, I have to tell you, the best was the one show we got paid in chicken parm. <laughs> <laughs> we got paid in chicken parm. And I had to run to, uh, a Best Buy, a Best Buy to get a to get a sound system, literally oh to buy because they didn't have a sound system. So, oh my goodness! Oh, but we yeah. got some special guests today, and she's got a hooked up restaurant, oh, so we don't have to. We, oh. we we don't have to talk about that. Oh my. Yes, we will. We will. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh.
But next up, uh, really quickly, I want to talk about my girl, Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin, I love her. I love you, Kathy Griffin, but girl, please stop digging yourself into a hole. Uh, what she do now? Recently, uh, a video has surfaced where uh, uh, it shows uh, Hillary Clinton and Kathy Griffin being killed, shot and killed, their heads blown off by Donald Trump, along with a, a, a bunch of other people. And I uh -huh. guess I guess it's a, a symbolism, a, 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 a act of symbolism, and they're trying right. to symbolize how this man is trying to destroy their careers okay. and how he's doing any and everything. And uh -huh. I do understand where Kathy Griffin is coming from. Honestly, most people don't see it how she sees it. She's trying to represent our First Amendment rights. She's trying mm -hmm. to show us that, listen, this is a freedom of speech. This is the country where we all have our rights, and we shouldn't allow a, a single person to take them away from us. Sure. And it's unfortunate that people are kind of turning their backs on her. Mm -hmm. But, you know... I if if I could say you guys please go out and support this woman. She is really trying her best. She has a new movie coming out. It's called Kathy Griffin: A Hell of a Story. So check it out. She was just on the Wendy Williams show promoting oh, it. Oh well, yeah, I know you love Wendy Williams. So, so you know I love her. You know you know so as a whole you know the She's whole. She's supposed to be having a song soon, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Trinity: Kathy Griffin, Wendy Williams, and Olivia London. Mm -hmm. So and Tony Holmberg. That's always don't forget me. <laughs> Wait, so we're like one. Like we're like a part. Like Oh, uh, you know, we I'm like the that. end. <laughs> and Tony Holmberg. Stop, Olivia. <laughs> Tony Holmberg and Olivia. Uh, you know, every now and then. We'll, we'll yeah. switch it up from now yeah. on. Well, um, well, you know what, girl? This is also exciting. But you know what? You know what? what's even more exciting? Oh, gosh, I know what you're going to say. We have to go to a break. <laughs> we have to see our sponsors. Absolutely. Don't you go anywhere. Stay tuned for more more Diva Time. We have two very special guests on the show today. Yes, we do. And we got a lot of fun planned for you. So don't mm, go nowhere. A lot of surprises. <laughs> we'll see you right after these messages. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what about hip hop? Old school versus new school. Because oh you know, God. her generation, they think they know stuff, but they don't know. Y'all don't know nothing about hip hop. Tell them about the struggle. Don't know. <laughs> you don't know Biz Marquis in the Shirley Arena. <laughs> you know. Oh, you got you, what I need. You don't know Run you DMC know? and Beastie Boys and Madison Square Garden. I don't know. What? You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Putting your radio. Oh your box <laughs> up against the speaker <laughs> and hit and play and record at the same time. You got a tape with commercials oh and hip hop. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, welcome back to Diva Time, the best live drag kiki on TV. And I am here with my co-hostess, the lovely Olivia London. Hi, y'all. How y'all And doing? we are joined tonight by two very special guests. This is our professional <laughs> divas show. It's our professional divas night. Yes. So we have Ms. Annette Runcy. Give it up. The owner of Kanash Eurosoul. Yes. In in Rosedale. 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 I always forget. Queens. <laughs> Queens. Queens. With an R. Yes. I just tell people, please come to Queens. It's Queens. <laughs> like, I just tell ways. Queens. Valley Street. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And our very good friend, Mr. Steve Flynn. How are you, How Steve? Doing? Lawyer and president of the Long Island Gay and Lesbian Film Festival, and which has been running for 22 years, correct? Yes. 22 years. Go ahead, Steve. Yes. Steve. Oh. And speaking of, and speaking of professionalism, now Ms. Olivia London, what? you used to work for Mr. Steve Flynn. I used to work for Mr. Steve well, Flynn. We worked with each other. Well, we, oh, we worked, worked together. together. I, I was not his boss. boss. Right. <laughs> well, I, I wish Steve was my boss. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know any I don't know anyone who, who will like admit to being Olivia's boss. <laughs> <laughs> I try to I try to crack the whip. <laughs> It ain't no. easy. No, Steve never <laughs> had a chance. To, uh, he never he never really had He never to. really had a chance. He, never, <laughs> he didn't have a chance. It's always so great. But no, um, I remember we, we met each other working in the law office. And I learned so much from Steve. And you always built me up to be the best person ever. And oh, thank you. I'm here today because of you. Wow. My first ever drag performance was at the Cinema Arts Festival. Wow. In 2017. Yes, it was in yes, 2017. Was. At our Pride event. At our Pride event, and Steve, just, just if you guys ever wonder how I became the monster that I am, call <laughs> Steve Flynn <laughs> or go to Facebook, you know. <laughs> so well, Steve, Steve was actually responsible for the birth of Olivia London. Correct. Yeah. So he was like, he was like the midwife. <laughs> Oh, so many professions tonight. The restaurant was, owner, lawyer, midwives. Oh, I love it. I love it. No, I was always so crazy. I was always walking around the office singing, laughing, doing fun stuff. So, you, are, you know, I get that. You said you wanted to do drag. <laughs> yes, I did. Um, and now, time's to do it now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, and then, uh, Annette, you, uh, you found us. We found each other. There. Yes, exciting. You yes. became a very uh, a fan of ours, and then we went to your restaurant, and we became a fan of yours. Oh wow! Because it is beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Like even if you don't go for a brunch, check out Panache. Yes. So because it's beautiful, they have amazing food. Like that's right. Uh, I get like scrumptious. Fusion. Yes. That's right. Talk fusion, about it. Fusion cuisine, Mediterranean, Caribbean, and soul food fusion. Mm -hmm. So it's Amazing. a very unique cuisine. And of course, it's all about, you know, Panache was about bringing the style right. of Manhattan Absolutely. closer to us, closer out here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's right on the border of Queens and Long Island. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, easy to get to. And then you throw soul food in. A lot of places don't have soul food. So when they hear that, it's like, yes. all right, we're running it. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. A very unique fusion. Mm -hmm. People are loving it. Even on Yelp. Check us out on Yelp. You'll see the reviews. You know, people yeah. are loving the food. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, me and Tony got a, a huge surprise to announce at the end of the show. Yes. Uh, a huge announcement in yes. regards to Panache Euro Yes, so, so. we do. <laughs> but, but you know what we should do right now, girl? Oh, with God. With our guests. Oh, God. We should have some fun. We I, should play a little game. Well, it's never fun in games with Tony because no. Tony always has to win. So. I always have to win. <laughs> I'm only joking. I don't play fair. <laughs> so we, I, I create a little game for you two. So let, let's go to that little intro of what this game is. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Office oh, and etiquette. etiquette. This will make oh. the best game. Diva do or diva don't. <laughs> Okay. All right. We're so ready. we're gonna we're gonna throw some some office uh, questions at you, and you're gonna you're gonna determine whether it's a diva do or a diva don't. Okay. Mm. And so what's our first? I'm one? gonna play with you all. Since yes. I'm the employee. She doesn't know what they are. <laughs> uh, what's our first one? Keep your cell phone on silent. So, diva do or diva don't. <laughs> I know what, what y'all gonna We're say, busy. girl. Uh, 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 I know what she's gonna regular say. Regular phone etiquette would be don't, but for diva, it would be do. <laughs> we got things to do. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I'm gonna go 
going to say it's a diva don't, but uh, maybe it is a diva don't. <laughs> <laughs> Steve gets a it's, it's a keep your cell phone on silent. It's a diva do. Tell us. <laughs> yes. Cheers. Cheers. By the way, cheers. this is this is apple cider, cr apple cranberry cider, because we're, we're being professional. Cheers, Steve. So you can't you can't drink during during the workday, girl. I don't know if you're aware of that. I was at work all day today, waiting to come and have some wine, wine. with some alizé, <laughs> that's right, or some hypnotic. Tony's uh, very uh, don't but don't worry. Next next week we have Alexis Flame on. We're gonna be we're gonna be heavily liquored up. Oh God, she's being <laughs> professional. Yeah, there so we tonight go. we have to be professional. <laughs> okay. what, what's our ne what's our next question? Use earphones <laughs> when listening to music. Is that a diva do or a diva don't? I would say a diva don't. Ooh. Don't? Don't use earphones? No, because yeah, because I guess you want everybody to hear. Yeah, yes. right. <laughs> you see what I'm jamming out to? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, mm. when I first pull up to work, my music is blast. I want everyone to know I'm listening to Beyonce, right. whoever I'm listening to, <laughs> Lil Kim, my new album. <laughs> uh, of course, not, none of the well, office well, etiquette. Well, office etiquette is due. It does, but and none of it applies to do. Olivia London. So what, what's our what's our answer? It is Diva a diva do. do. <laughs> okay. Please use your earphones oh. when blasting Beyonce. <laughs> I got things to do. What I'm saying? <laughs> She's got to learn her words for the next show. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, what's what's our next what's our next question? Engage in gossip. Is that a diva do or a diva don't? A diva do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, who needs I like agree hundred and ten percent. Steve, what do you say? <laughs> Definitely a diva do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're all do. saying it's we're all saying it's a diva do, but what is it? Is it really a diva do? It's or is a, it diva a diva do. Don't? It's oh. a diva do. <laughs> don't engage in gossip and the workplace. Oh. Come on, Tony, really? Mm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you can just, you know, come sit with me at lunch and then we'll have a little a little kiki. <laughs> Listen, I'm like Alexis Flame. If I can't gossip for more than like a couple of days, I start to have withdrawal, withdrawal. and like go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have uh, next? What's our next one? Do your makeup at your desk. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That might be a diva don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, one time I got in so much trouble when I left for uh, the law office because I'm uh, literally doing my makeup uh, at work. Uh, uh, and they're all like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I got to get pretty. I'm going on a date tonight. Uh, what about oh, you? Wow. Okay. What happens? Makeup at you the You walk dance. in, you see your bartender doing their make. Ooh. No. Diva don't. Diva don't. Diva don't. I would say diva don't. Steve? Diva don't. Diva don't. Diva, diva, diva don't. Olivia, I know you're saying diva do. <laughs> I'm doing my, I'm beating this mug. I don't care what y'all think. What? <laughs> don't listen to that. What is it? It is diva a diva don't, don't indeed. Yeah. Olivia, you cannot do your makeup at the desk. I don't agree. <laughs> How did you think I made it here on time today? Or 10 minutes late? <laughs> the only reason she made it here was because she was doing her makeup at, at her desk. So, so. Multitasking, <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you so much for calling. <laughs> She's doing her mascara. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that accident you had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What's up next? Oh, we should have time for one more. Dress appropriately. Diva do or diva don't? Diva do. Diva do. That one diva I have to do. say is yes. diva do. You should always dress appropriately. Diva do. I've, diva do. I've learned yes. over the years that dressing do, more appropriately do, do. for the situation is, you know. Absolutely. Don't just wear Absolutely. bra to work in leggings. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're Madonna. Unless you're Madonna. Unless you're Madonna. <laughs> then you can go out with just a bra. <laughs> Well, she made millions doing that. Absolutely. So for her, it works. I want to be Madonna. So, <laughs> so, well, don't work in an office then. <laughs> no, yeah, but, well, she doesn't. That's one diva that, 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 that's that a diva don't for Madonna. She ain't working in no office. office. That's right. I've been working in no office. Uh, maybe we could do one quick one. 
the answer? Diva do. Diva oh, oh, it is a diva do. do. Dress appropriately. Really? She's going to be on we the already, phone. We answered our own. <laughs> I made up these things. Like, okay. Use smileys and emojis in work-related emails. Diva do. They do it all the time. Do they? Yeah. They they, they use gifts and things. In, in work emails. I'm telling you all really? the time. I can't wait to use the NeNe leaks. I said what, what I said. <laughs> Uh, Steve, what do you say? You have to deal I with a lot think of people. I might be a diva don't. Oh, you're saying a diva don't. Yes. I agree right. with Steve. Don't. Diva, diva don't. don't. For an attorney, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's, you know. Also, you, you may there may be problems maybe with viruses and, oh, and yeah. things like that with, you know, those emojis and gifts. I mean, you never right. know. And then the last thing you want is like, uh, Olivia. <laughs> that, that email that you replied to with the Nene Leaks gift <laughs> came out uh, everybody in the whole corporation <laughs> a virus. <laughs> Imagine, oh god, <laughs> that would be great. That would be great for the show. So. Yeah, that literally would so, happen to Olivia. Lennon. That would that would be good. That would be good for the show. So I mean, if it happens, it, it's okay. <laughs> we'll allow it. So. So yes, yeah. um, so that's it's a diva don't. It's, a, it's, it's a diva definitely don't. a diva don't. It's definitely a diva don't. <laughs> See, diva don't. Oh, no. <laughs> don't put those smileys and emojis in work-related emails. I love doing that. I don't know why. Like, especially if I'm like talking to someone who's being so nice, because I, I don't always have the nicest people I talk to all the time. So, just having you know that little. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much for reaching out, smiley face. Smiley face. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. speaking of smiles, girl, you know what's gonna bring a smile to everyone? As if I make money. Yes. So I guess we got to take a break. We have to take a little <laughs> break for our sponsors. So everybody stay tuned. We will be right back with more Diva Time after these messages. With Annette and Steve. Yay. Woo. <laughs> Dropping gems from Keisha Christian. She's on a mission, sharing information, knowledge for soul, body and mind. Dropping gems, KeishaGems.com. KeishaGems.com.
Hi, welcome back to Diva Time, the best live drag kiki on TV. And uh, I'm joined by my beautiful co-hostess, Olivia London. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing? And Olivia, tell everyone who our very special guests are tonight. So we're here with Annette from Panache Euro Soul hey. and Rosedale slash Queens on the border of Valley Stream. Yeah, right. right? Yeah. Are we rapping tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also here with the wonderful Steve Flynn, attorney, wonderful person, LGBT advocate, and also director of the Huntington Cinema Arts uh, Music Festival slash Theater. Yes. Okay, yes. And what we're, we're going to do now is, because I always forget to do it, we're going to have them take the Diva Time Oath oh. with us. Right. Okay. So, what I need you both to do is raise your right hands. This part gets a little creepy. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> she I loves it. I love this one. And repeat after me. I proudly affirm. I, I proudly, proudly affirm. To live my most absolute fabulous life. To, to live, live my most absolute, absolute fabulous life. <laughs> as a diva time diva. As, as a, a diva time diva. With determination. With, with determination. determination. Intelligence. 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 Vivaciousness. Vivaciousness. Get ready. Here it comes. <laughs> and, 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 and I know you're going to love this one. <laughs> Attitude. Attitude. <laughs> You're Diva. officially Diva you time. Officially Diva time Divas. Divas. <laughs> All right. Well, now Thank you. officially Divas. So now that you're part of our society, we have to ask you some part questions. Part of the family, yes. We have to get to know you so mm -hmm. we know where to put you in our society. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, Annette, you... Um, you have your own restaurant, um, mm -hmm. and it's also a bar as well, and it's mm -hmm. beautiful, and you have a lot of amazing events every month, yep. every week. I, I see them. What inspired you to get into the whole restaurant business and, and do what you're doing now? It's, um, I'm the last of seven kids, okay. and oh, it was boy. something that my, my, my dad always wanted to have, like, a family restaurant. Right. You know, and um, I actually... Started in corporate America. I worked for Procter & Gamble for many, many years. Wow. And then when they were looking to downsize, I decided to start the family legacy. Yeah. So I always thought it would have been somebody else going to start it. You know, I'm mm -hmm. the last of seven. <laughs> right. But I ended up the one that actually started this, this restaurant. I'm so, yes. That is such yes. an amazing story. Yes. 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 Oh, wow. I'm, 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 I'm the second. Well, I have a twin, so I'm like the third youngest. Oh, of okay. Seven, too. So. Wow. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Yeah. My mom has two sets of twins. Yeah, she's a trip. Wow. <laughs> so she uh, she comes off crazy, you know. <laughs> All right, that's what's up. Yeah. Um, well, she had you inside of her for nine months, girl. Cut I mean. it out. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and um, I know you were talking a, a, a lot about, um, you know, what kind of cuisine and what kind of foods and stuff that you offer. What is your best dish? What is your favorite dish? Mm. Okay, so my I'm a, I'm a fish person. Yes. You know, um, so we have um, red snapper, but my favorite is our coconut and almond crusted salmon. Oh, oh that because, sounds good. Because it represents the true real soul. So you got the mm. coconut right. with the, on the salmon mm. crusted, you know, and you mm. know, um, salmon fish is very Mediterranean. Mm. You know, they have a lot. They have a lot of fish. Right. Making um, me so hungry. I haven't. And, since I'm 1972. <laughs> and then almond, the nuts. So you got coconut and almond mm. crusted on the salmon. And so that's my favorite. That's, that's my favorite. That's literally, I just got so hungry. We're going to the restaurant after we leave tonight, y'all. I hope this microphone doesn't pick up your stomach rumbling. Yeah. No, that yeah. sounds amazing. Yes, yes. Well, definitely. November 3rd, keep that date in mind, y'all, yes. because y'all might have a uh, chance to have drag queens and that fabulous dish in that's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, but moving on to, to you, Steve, um, your lawyer, my dream, right. what I'm going and, and, and learning about now in my career now, uh, go ahead to our law school, um, but you started, when did you start practicing law? 1986. Wow. wow. And what's your favorite? Because I know it's so you were a child lawyer, correct? So <laughs> like Cookie <laughs> Hauser. Uh, I was actually <clears throat> I graduated in 1985. In '86, I was admitted and got my first legal job. And um, 
been doing it ever since. Mm. Absolutely. And I know there's a, it's, it's very, you know, there's a lot of areas of law. What is mm -hmm. your favorite? What is something that you like? Past few years, I'm specializing in bankruptcy. Yes. Oh, I do remember Interesting. that. Interesting. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's actually a nice area which I kind of segue into. And um, I used to do a lot of matrimonial law. Right. In the beginning, it's which probably got, the worst. It, it probably is. Yeah. So mm. now I do bankruptcy. It's nice cleaner, and I uh, work for uh, your former employer still. Right. <laughs> 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 and I love them. They're a great law firm. Uh, Do I so. never mention your name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid. I love them all. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. And um, cause for me, my dream has always been to be an entertainment lawyer. Um, obviously, I have the whole entertainment part down, but I'm still learning how to read. So <laughs> I'm only joking. You were just reading that Queen the other day. Oh, oh, that kind of reading. Oh, that kind of reading. But oh. they want you to do so much reading. And what was the oh, hardest yes. part of law school for you? The hardest part was just that I was in my mid-20s. And I had to still keep going to school. And you're there every day. And you got to do a lot of reading. Right. And, you know, it's after a while you say, hey, I'm in my mid-20s. I This is now the seventh year I'm in college. Wow. And, uh yeah, it was getting a little much Exhausting. after a while, yeah. I mean, it takes a lot of discipline. Right. That's and, true. And that's something I'm learning now still because yeah. I have, you know, I have a lot of discipline and self-control, but, like, when it comes to a lot of things, I like to just be a free spirit and, like, be fun mm -hmm. and, like, you know. Mm -hmm. But, like, now I understand why I don't work for that company anymore. <laughs> 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 because mm -hmm. being a lawyer is hard. It's, yes, you know, it takes a lot of discipline and, you know, buckling down. But before we run out of time, I think it's time to put these two beautiful, amazing guests in the hot seat. In the hot seat. Are y'all ready for the hot seat? I guess. Oh, there we go. <laughs> We're going to get to know you all just a little bit more mm -hmm. and a little bit about your view. So let's get started with the hot seats. Wow. I love it. <laughs> the hot seat. Hot seat. Hot seat. Go ahead. Okay, so we're gonna get your opinion on some slightly controversial views. So our our first topic is you'll like this one, girl. Oh. Lil Kim skin bleaching. Right. Now there's you know, and now we're not we're not saying something is good or bad. We're just you know posing the question. What what do people think? Now there's been a lot of controversy. With little coming, and actually, when I was researching it, not just little Kim, right? Yeah. There's like there, I saw like there's pictures of Beyonce, mm -hmm. Sammy Sosa. Mm -hmm. um, Beyonce uh, is because no one ever talks about that, but Beyonce, they, you know, there are photos where you know you can see she was significantly, significantly darker, darker. and now is mm. significantly lighter. And I'm, um, you know, I I always wonder like what what message does that send mm. to like you know. The, the young yes, children. Yes, that is right, correct. That, you Absolutely. Know, you know, that, you know, mm -hmm. are, are, have a deeper complexion when right. they see, you know, a, a celebrity that they look up to, like, mm -hmm. lightening themselves. What do you all think? I'm against it. No, I think it's good to be natural and people can be beautiful. There's all sorts of skin tones and yes. colors and it's hues. A, and it, it's a whole rainbow. Good. Absolutely. There absolutely is. And, yeah. um, Especially when you, when you get to the darker colors, the browns. I mean, there's a lot of shades out there. Yes. And they're all right. nice and good. And beautiful yes. in their own yeah. ways. Yes. yes. And I say, you know, be happy with the skin you're in. Yes. yes. That's right. You know, we should yes. be happy. And I think that, you know, I think you're correct, Tony. Is like, what message does that send? It's yes. like, you know, your, your skin is not good enough right. for you. Mm-hmm. You know, and, then what, and yeah, so then the kids see that and say, okay, I guess I need to bleach mines too, right? Right. You right. know what I mean? So I think we should be happy with the skin that we have. Absolutely. And I, not, I'm per a, personally, I'm the color of uncooked chicken. <laughs> 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 no, I've learned to embrace it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, make but it work. You're right, though. Like, and and little Kim, she used to be so beautiful, and and I feel like that's the reason why a lot of people turn their backs on her because you know, yeah, you're not being, you know, you're not being that real person everyone knew you were. Mm -hmm. True. But what do we have next? What's our next? I really, I, I love getting our opinions right now. <laughs> oh, dating at work. Since since we have professional people oh, wow. here. I got some questions on this one. <laughs> Just take the floor, honey. Let me tell you. <laughs> what do no, you think? No, 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 no. Okay. 
as an employer, it's mm -hmm. just never works out. Never works out. It's stressful. It's stressful. You know, you have, um, you know, we. I tell my employees absolutely no, you know, um, having no, hanky -panky. no relationship with anybody <laughs> at work. <laughs> no. And of course there's times that they don't listen. Yeah, of course they don't. And of course they have whatever. Of course. And it always ends bad. Of course. And, you know, and it's a bad impact on the business right, itself. Right, right, right. Because now you have to sit here and deal with all of this. Exactly. And find yes. new employees or fire right. people. Or yeah. Fire people. But not only that, like, they, if they're dating each other, right, and they break up, that person oh, yeah. now, you know. The tension is Yeah, high. the tension is high. And then the customers who used to come for this, it's just a mess. You're right. right. You're right. You're right. From a customer standpoint, mm -hmm. too, it impacts that. They don't yeah. want to see that. Absolutely. Right. So, you know, it's just not a good thing. Steve, what about you? I agree. It's a disaster. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I uh, never did it and probably never will. Okay. <laughs> Considering where I work, it's very <laughs> unlikely. <laughs> well, I guess I should throw my dreams away because I really like my coworker. <laughs> no, don't do it, girl. <laughs> don't do it. I'm kidding. We got time for one more. Come on. I, I love this. I love this. Ooh, yes. Marijuana. Marijuana. Oh, uh, Recreational use. What do, I mean, we know that, you know, there are health benefits to it, <coughs> but, you know, there's controversy, there's still controversy over, you know, using it for recreational purposes. What are your thoughts? Well, you got to be careful when you use it and what are you doing afterwards. And right. I mean, it's, uh, it's more popular than it's ever been and it's out True. there and you're going to be seeing a lot of it. But boy, people got to be careful. It's, uh, you know, just... You don't do it during the daytime, you don't do it during work, and you do it when you're relaxing or having fun and in a safe space. Right. True. And Absolutely. not driving. Absolutely. True. That, is, that is correct. That is correct. Well, I'm originally from Jamaica, and everybody thought that, you know, of course, <laughs> I have tried this. I have never tried <laughs> oh. Good. Good for you. I've never had it, yeah. but everybody assumed because I'm from mm -hmm. Jamaica that I must have, you know, right. you know, be, you know. So what are they smoking before they go to your restaurant huh? and they have that almond coconut crust? Plus it is <laughs> almond. <laughs> you <laughs> don't <laughs> sell out. <laughs> yeah, but I do believe, you know, you know, especially with this younger generation, my kids, I have two boys and, you know, as I tell them to be careful, just as you say, mm -hmm. in when you do it. And how you do it, and don't overdo it. Right, true. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I mean. And that's the bottom. That's when it becomes a problem when you overdo it. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean. So yes. that's that's my feeling on it. Right. Yes. I have my medical card, so I understand it from the medical point of view. But I do agree with you. Sometimes people they do it in excess and they get yeah. crazy about yeah. it. Yeah. And then it makes it like a big deal. Like you mm -hmm. know, stay humble. Stay. You know. Yes. But we do got to take a quick break. Break. But uh, we before our sponsor go crazy, before, girl. They're gonna go. They're like, what is going on here? They're calling us up. <laughs> But we will have more with Annette and Steve and also myself and Tony Homeper. Mm. So don't go nowhere. We'll be right back with some more Diva Time, y'all. Okay, what about hip hop? Old school versus new school. Because okay. you know, yeah. her generation, they think they know stuff, but they don't know. Y'all don't know nothing about hip hop. Tell them about the struggle. Don't know. 
You don't know Biz Marquis in the Shirley Arena. <laughs> you know. Oh, you got you, what I need. You don't know Run you DMC know. and Beastie Boys in Madison Square Garden. I don't know. What? You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Putting your radio, oh your box, <laughs> up against the speaker. <laughs> and hit and play and record at the same time. You got to take with commercials. Oh Alrighty, welcome back to Diva Time. My name is Olivia London, and I'm here with my beautiful co-host, Miss Tony Homeperm, and our wonderful guests, Annette from Panache Euro Soul, yes. and then we got the attorney, Mr. Steve Flynn. Thank you. How y'all doing? Are y'all enjoying yourselves on enjoying Diva Time? Enjoying it, having yeah, a good absolutely. time. Absolutely, great. How does it feel to be a diva? Great. Feels terrific. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. Yeah. And Steve also is the president of the Long Island Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. Right, absolutely. Which we, we did the, the Christmas show. Yes. Last year, this yes. Year. We did. Me, yeah. me and you. We hosted it. We hosted it, It was it, the yes. very first time we hosted together. That's right, that's really? right. Really? Yeah. yeah. And there was yes. another drag queen that was there. I just remember her, like, almost being cut, but I forget her name, but... <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm blonde. I don't know these things. <laughs> I, just, I just smile and look pretty. <laughs> Well, you all have made it to the to the, the best part of the show, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Me and Tony love this segment, yeah. uh, where we're going to be giving some advice to one of our wonderful viewers. Yes. Okay. Have and y'all ready? I think you both will have some good insight on this. What's on this going topic. on? Mm -hmm. I think it's ready for Dear Divas. Dear Divas, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got a little funk. <laughs> All righty. Well, tonight we have a special letter from uh, one of our uh, viewers. His name is Nicholas, and he works for a company he didn't want to disclose, but he's mm -hmm. having some issues in, in, in the workplace. Oh and I, I'm just going to share this with you all, and yes. you all give us some advice. Mm -hmm. So, dear divas, I'm hoping you might be able to help me with the workplace dilemma. I've been dealing with my current employer for two years, and there has been a lot of tension and drama in our department. There is a queen bee with mm. a click that follows whatever she says. Oh, there you go. She's a major gossip and mm. self-described uh, mean girl. Mm. They are middle-aged but tend to binge drink and come to work with hangovers, oh. arrive late daily, and I don't drink or party, so I'm the odd man out of this situation. I think I want to work there. It just so happens that she <laughs> happens to be my supervisor, oh. and she really, in my opinion, does not like me. Oh. Divas, I need some advice on how to deal with this situation. I'm starting mm. to feel uncomfortable, and no one should have to come to work and not feel comfortable. Mm. Please help! Oh, my. Ooh. Oh, what do you both think? Well, I think that you should not have to 
uh, conform. You shouldn't ha have to feel like you have to drink and hang out and be with them, mm -hmm. you know, to be to be able to be productive at work. Right. So if you feel pressured into doing that, then maybe you should consider m moving on. Absolutely. And going somewhere else where you are the right fit. Absolutely. Where, you know, mm -hmm. it sounds like you're just not, that's not the right fit for you. I agree. Could Absolutely. Be. I agree, too. It's Especially right. it's your supervisor. <clears throat> And a lot of people get fired when there's a new supervisor coming on and there's a clash. And mm. it sounds like this relationship's getting worse. Right. Mm. So I, I don't see room for improvement. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Especially if this person's just supervisor. Right, Tony? Yeah. Like, <coughs> oh, that's got to that's be the worst. <coughs> because I know um, <coughs> one of my last jobs, uh -huh. the, the supervisor, mm -hmm. no matter what I did, nothing was ever good, good enough. enough. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was like, Ethos no matter situations. how hard I worked, how over the top I went, you know, how, you know, above and beyond yeah, doing mm -hmm. what I should do, it was never enough. And then I got to the point where I was like, well, if, if it doesn't matter what I do because it's, it's never good mm -hmm. enough. So then I just sort of like gave up and I was like, I just mm -hmm. made sure I was doing like the bare minimum because it's, it was like nothing pleased this person anyway. Wow. Right. So, and then, you know, eventually uh, the writing was on the wall and they, you know, they, they, you know, let me go. And I was like, you know what? When one door closes, uh, another one opens, and now here I am. Yeah. Your yeah. television TV show host. <laughs> yes. A beautiful lady. So I should I should thank that supervisor for letting me go because ah, I'm on TV and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for your boob job. <laughs> thank you for paying you for your boob yes. jobs. <laughs> but no, I, I've been in oh. a situation just like this. Um, I, I haven't. Been, well, I've been the, in, in many situations. I've been the person who who who's been like Nick, but I've also been the person who sees this happening to somebody else, mm. and it's, it, it felt so. At my last job, I seen it, and it, it just felt so uncomfortable because mm. I'm in a situation, and I'm not about to be mean to anyone just because you don't like them. That's just not the way I roll. So, you know, if if if, if it's clicky like this, you know, that's why I appreciate my job now. I work for Geico, and I love Geico. The first thing that they actually said, uh, they came out, and, and we're doing like an uh, orientation, but they come out and they, 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 they start talking about, you know, people harassing other people for being who they want to mm -hmm. be and stuff like that. And they, the first thing, they, they, the, one of the examples they gave is, a man who wants to wear makeup can make it as far as he wants in this company, no matter what. And that was yeah. one of the biggest things that I love. Yeah. So yeah. Yes. hopefully, and you know, I'm sure working with companies that you all work for, especially you being your own employer, you mm -hmm. obviously you respect and you understand everyone's different uh, walk of life. Absolutely. And you see how they can contribute that to your business. You know? yep. Mm -hmm. yep. That's how yep. it's supposed to be. So, yep. and gay people are best in customer service, y'all. Right. <laughs> Variety's always the spice of life. Right. And you know spice. <laughs> Girl. I'm still thinking about that snapper, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Poking at oven. That's the salmon. But before we go, Steve, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about where they can find you, where they can oh, get some you. help with bankruptcy or whatever, how they can call you? Well, I, I was actually going to mention the film festival. Yes, please. That's important. Um, <laughs> we're in our 22nd year, and we Yay. do have a film coming up December 12th, Adam. Oh. That was just open in September in the village, and it's a comedy. Uh, so it's very interesting. And we're at the Cinema Arts Center in Huntington. And we do have a website. On uh, Park Avenue. Yep, that's right, 423 Park Avenue. And we have a website, <coughs> www.liglff, and we're on Facebook. And dot, uh, we do dot a, org? Dot org, yes. yes. And we have a movie every other month at a festival in uh, October. We just it actually just passed last week, two mm -hmm. weeks ago. So, yeah, come to see us. And for me, um, uh, Steve Flynn, I uh, do bankruptcies in Suffolk and Nassau, so yeah, if, you, if you're broke. <laughs> <laughs> well, if this show doesn't work out, Steve, I'm going to be calling you. <laughs> yeah. and, and Annette, we have some exciting, we have some very exciting, exciting news, oh, yes, news yes. Discuss about our joint venture. <laughs> yes. Yes, so girl, tell them. Well, November 3rd, uh, the beautiful Annette, uh, owner of Panache Euro Soul, she has invited us to do a show, uh, a live drag queen cabaret brunch. Yay! So we, we will be there on November 3rd from 1 o'clock to 4, but you all can come whenever you want. That's right. Please wait outside for hours. Make us feel important. <laughs> And, yeah. and now joining us oh. at the drag brunch, we have Lady LaBelle, one of the 
OG, Diva Time Divas. I feel so white when I say that. <laughs> OG. <laughs> I feel so white when I say that. We have the amazing Ruby Monroe. Ruby. The I greatest dancer on Long Island. Long Island. All right. And, of course, your drag <laughs> godmother, my drag nanny, the one and only, the legendary Alexis, Alexis Flame. Flame who will be our special guest Absolutely. next week for the Diva Time Halloween, Halloween special. Mm. Oh, there we go. It's, it's, yeah, we had to so. give it a really important name, or else I have we, to do it. Girl. She would have cast a spell, and we yes. would not have existed. Mm -hmm. she, yes, our, our show would have went bankrupt. Yes. <laughs> we, we no, can. but uh, I, I'm really excited for this event at Panache. Yes, we're so excited. We're like we have been we're talking about it, we're getting ready. And then yes. find Panache at. We, you can find Panache at www.panachenyc.com. Our mm -hmm. number is 718-978-6094. And we are very, very excited to have you guys there. Um, it's going to be probably the, the first ever in that area of Queens All right. yep. that we're having a, a, a drag brunch. You know, and I'm just so excited and a lot of folks are excited about it about it too. they're really excited yes, about it yes, about coming yes. and seeing us and yes it's going to be yes. a phenomenal show it's going to be oh, very entertaining absolutely. And, and we're just excited dancing yes. singing i'm bringing back the 90s hits y'all so i'm bringing some cc penniston Ooh, wow, wow. <laughs> shaka khan yes, yes. <laughs> what about you tony <laughs> well you know i gotta i gotta throw some you know disco in there yes. so, you know I, you know i have to bad girls <laughs> you know I love that. No, but seriously, t today has really been a, a rewarding show. Um, yes, it has. We have two of our, our biggest supporters here, literally. Yes. Like Annette, we met you because you watched our show and you yes. loved us, and you yes. just you, you, that transcended. So that's right. When we got that call, you got know Rudy how, and was like, "Let's do <laughs> something." <laughs> We're mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. "Let's do it." Now, seriously, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. you have a beautiful place. Um, I'm very, very honored and, and and proud of you for all your accomplishments and what you have done. Thank you. So absolutely, keep going strong. We'll be there the first Sunday of every month. Right? That's right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> first Sunday of every month, starting November third. Right. Yeah, November 3rd. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Make, make sure you have, you know, some of that salmon with the coconut and almond. Absolutely. Right. You will have so. a Eurosoul brunch, and right. you'll be able to taste a lot of that Eurosoul and get a little of panache. Yes. Oh. A dash oh. of panache. A little dash. A dash <laughs> of panache. <laughs> a dash of panache. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be, it's really going to be a great show. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. And uh, Steve, uh, why don't you all go check that out on December 12th, you said. Right. Uh, we're gonna. He's going to be at the, the, the Cinema Arts Center. In Huntington, That's right, right. So yes. I probably, I might be there. I might show up. She she might. You're gonna get she there might. sooner or later. You'll yeah, be back. You call me. I'll be there. I'm yeah. always excited to go back. And and, and yeah. like I said, I really appreciate yeah. you and Tony and I. We well, appreciate you. We appreciate all the, the community yes. appreciates the work the two of you do because I know you, you do a lot of things for no money. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We do. And, Thank you. Um, Thank you. You know, and, and we're grateful for the help you do for. You know, my organization, but all the other organizations, too. It's important we stick you. together and yes. keep Long Island gay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to make me make us cry. I mean, don't, don't make us cry. Tony <laughs> will cry, but I hope my waterproof. She's all dried up. She's been dried up the last two years. So. My mascara is waterproof. <laughs> but unfortunately, girl, Annette, Steve, we have run out of time. Oh, yes, we okay. have. So we're going to have to say goodnight to everyone. Oh, okay. We, we thank you so much for coming on the show, but and we want to have you back anytime. So. Yes. It's been great. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, guys. For yeah. being with us. We and thank you all for watching Diva yes. Time tonight. Me and Tony Homeprom really, really appreciate the love and support we get from everyone who tunes into our show every Monday night. Next week, we will be back here at a new time at 10.30 to next week. So For the Halloween Spooktacular. For Spooktacular. So my name is Olivia London. And I'm Tony Homeperm. And we appreciate you. Catch more Diva Time next Monday at 10.30. Good, Good night. night. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice.